was about through those last couple of laps. Looked like you were playing a pretty smart race there, sitting back there in third place. Really exploded in those last couple of laps. Yeah, I was just looking after the <coughs> tyre. I felt like I had a lot of speed on the guys in front. But this is a place where you've got to um, you got to be smart. You can't just go hell for leather from the start. But uh, yeah, it was a it was a close race. I don't like yeah. You don't want to lose like that, but obviously Wayne's he's um, on another level at the moment. So uh, hopefully this next one we can we can square it up. We actually said it before the start of the race that you had this look in your eye this weekend. We know how dangerous you are, and uh, you know you've been there or thereabouts all season. But that race, you really showed some real grit and character. Yeah, for sure. You know we've got a we've got a good package, and um, and our our bike's strong. So uh, as far as the package goes, we've got everything it takes to win the race. It's just uh, for some reason or another, we're, the last couple of rounds we haven't put it together, but. Uh, Great work by the team, you know, we've backed up from going to Laguna. <coughs> Most of us haven't had much sleep and to put a bike together like that, uh, credit goes to them. Congratulations, Wayne. Con uh, Glenn, congratulations to you and the whole team. Thanks. Go over now and have a quick word with the new Australian champion, Wayne Maxwell. Wayne, uh, firstly, congratulations on the, uh, the lap yesterday, but uh, congratulations on your first Australian championship. I know how hard you've been working for it and Team Suzuki as well. What can I say, you know, um, I'm pretty emotional. I've worked hard, I've been close many a time, but um, you know, it's not all me, it's a great team, Team Suzuki. I came here, you know, I didn't really have anything else when I came here and they um, really helped me out and, you know, they've given me what I've wanted and uh, the Suzuki was unbelievable, the GSXR. I think we did the fast lap of the race and the last lap and, you know, it just shows how good the Dunlop tyre hung in there and uh, full credit to all the guys and, yeah, what a way to win the championships to win the race and uh, we've got one more race to go and then uh, we can let the celebrations begin. You said on the grid you've got to play it smart. That looked like exactly what you were doing, sitting back there in third and fourth place and then uh, just like Glenn exploded over the last couple of laps and, as you said, fastest lap on the last lap. Yeah, I think it was pretty close fast lap. But I was just keeping an eye on uh, Glenn and Jamie and, you know, Robbie. I've seen Robbie doing a lot of work at the front there, working his tyre and he was trying to hang in there and, you know, uh, he didn't quite get there in the end. And most importantly, we've got to try to uh, help Robbie because we need him to get second in the championship and make it, make it Suzuki 1-2. So I thought I had to go and uh, took some points off there, Glenn there. So hopefully, uh, you know, we can change a few things and try to make it Suzuki 1-2 this afternoon. Congratulations on your first Australian championship, Wayne. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to all at Team Suzuki. It's been a great year. Thank you very much. Back to you, Braxy.